Hello students, welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn about gantry girder in industrial building. So this could come as a question in your exam. Explain what is a gantry girder or a girder used for EOT. So let us first start by understanding what is a gantry crane. So if you look at any industrial building, in this particular case we are seeing a three-dimensional view of an industrial building. You can see that the industrial building consists of a large shed with a long span and within this particular industrial shed there are many machines which are operating and there is a sort of an assembly line of machines. In, this, in these machines there are going to be some raw products which are going to be brought from outside and then there are also going to be finished goods which will have to be taken from one point to another point. Same way sometimes these heavy machines will also have to be lifted during installation or for maintenance work. Now to lift such type of goods or such machines, you require to have a crane. So as you can see in this particular drawing, you can see that there is a horizontal beam like structure, steel structure, which is a crane. Now this crane actually moves in three ways. One is along the length of this particular factory. Second is along the width of the factory, that is along the span. And the third motion is going to be the up and down motion of the goods that this crane is going to carry. So these types of cranes are going to be called as gantry cranes or EOTs. These EOTs are going to be running on rails which are going to be mounted on the columns of the structure of the industrial shed. What we are interested in is how this rail is constructed and how that rail is supported on the columns. So for that let us go and see the details. So what is a gantry? A gantry is an electrically operated crane which runs on rails inside the industrial shed. The gantry is also called a EOT which means electric overhead traveling crane. The gantry crane runs on rails which are supported on the steel columns. The rails can directly rest on the column or they can rest on a cantilever bracket connected to the steel column. We will see more about this in a proper sketch that what are the different alternatives of supporting the gantry rail. First let us try to see what are the gantry cranes and how much load they can carry. So the gantry cranes can be very light cranes or very heavy duty cranes. So you can see that the gantry cranes can carry loads from 2 tons to even sometimes 1000 tons. They are classified into single beam crane and double beam crane. So as you can see in this two sketches, in the first sketch you can see that there is one single beam and these two side members are having the wheels and these wheels are going to run on the rails. So there is one single beam which is carrying the load and transferring it through the wheels to the rails. This type of a gantry is called as a single beam gantry. In this case, this gantry is a double beam gantry and it will be carrying much more heavier loads than the single beam gantry. Large cranes can be operated from a cabin in which the operator sits. So sometimes 
these cranes normally they are operated by means of a device which is normally suspended from the crane and which can be operated from the floor level but when the cranes are very large cranes then you might be having a, a cabin in which an operator is sitting and operating the crane you can see such type of a crane here where this is the crane and this is the cabin which is a pendant type of cabin means that it is hanging below the gantry and you can see the cabin which has got glass on not only on the sides but also at the bottom from which the operator can have an overall view of the entire factory and also a view downwards where the operations are taking place. The other photo is also showing a similar type of a cabin. Now the gantry girder is nothing but a beam. This beam carries the load from the gantry crane and transfers it to the steel column. The gantry girder has a peculiar section as shown in the figure. Now what we saw earlier here, this type of a crane is the same thing which has been shown here. So this is a crane. It is a schematic sketch which is showing you the crane along with a motor which runs along this span of the industry. And on this side you have got a motor which has got a wheel which runs in the lengthwise direction of the shed. Now this particular wheel is running on rails. These rails are like your railway wagon rails. And below that what you will see is the girder. This is what we are interested in. So the girder consists of a peculiar type of structure. So as you can see the girder is here is consisting of an eye section which is there at the bottom and a channel section which is mounted on top. Now there is a particular reason why this type of a configuration is there. We will see about that in a moment. You can also see that this is a vertical column which is going to ultimately take the load and transfer it to the foundation. Now this particular gantry girder is actually supported on a bracket, a cantilever bracket which is coming out from the steel column. This is what we are seeing that uh, this is the sort of a girder which is there and the wheels of the gantry are going to run on a rail which can be seen here at the top and they are going to run lengthwise along the girder. Now let us see why this peculiar section is there. To understand that we must study this sketch. So first let us try to see what is the section of the gantry girder. So it consists of a vertical eye section. Now you know that eye section is good in taking all sorts of vertical bendings or bending caused due to vertical loads. So as you can see in this sketch, you can see that this is a sort of elevation showing the girder which is placed on these two steel columns and the vertical load from the gantry is acting on this girder. The I section in this case is going to take the bending which is going to be caused due to the vertical load. Now similar to this vertical load, let us look at how this gantry rail is going to look at in plan. Now in plan you will understand that when the gantry moves sideways with the load, it also transfers some horizontal load on to the gantry beam. This horizontal load or lateral load causes sideways bending of this beam, sideways bending and the eye section is not a very good section in taking sideways bending and therefore to take the sideways bending we attach this channel which is the C channel on top of the eye section. So this acts as a composite section, the upper part which is a channel, good in taking the horizontal bending and the eye section which is seen below it, good in taking the bending caused due to the vertical load. So that is what has been explained here. So I hope that this 
a peculiar type of a section which is used for gantry girder is clear to you. Now we had seen that this gantry girder can be mounted in two ways. One is that it can be mounted on a bracket which is attached to the steel stanchion. So here you can see a steel stanchion with two channels and steel batten plates which are welded to that. It's a composite or rather a built up section of a stanchion. And on that particular stanchion, a bracket has been welded. This is called as the gantry bracket. And on top of the gantry bracket, this gantry girder has been placed. As you can see, there is the eye section and a channel section. And on top of these, the gantry rail has been welded. So this is one way of supporting the gantry girder. In the other case, what you can see is that the stanchion itself has been made out of two parts. One is a part of the stanchion which is designed to carry the load from the roof. And therefore this stanchion continues straight up to the roof. While as the other part of the stanchion is designed to carry the weight from the gantry and therefore it is terminating at the point where the gantry girder sits on it. Beyond this point, this part of the stanchion is of no use. So what you can see here is that this particular type of section in option 2 is made out of two parts. One which is going straight up to the roof and the other which stops at the gantry girder. Now here the gantry girder which is a similar girder here is directly placed on this part of the stanchion and there is no cantilever bracket taken out. So this is the second type of method of fixing this gantry girder to the stanchion. You can also see in both these sketches this small type of a uh, member here and here which is a tie member. Now this tie member is connected, connected from the channel to the stanchion so that it prevents the toppling motion of this girder due to the load on it. This is a, a series of sketches which is showing you how this particular stanchion, especially the one which we saw here, which is mounted on the bracket, how it has been constructed. So as you can see, there are two channel sections and to the channel sections, these are the batten plates. Now from the batten plates itself, these bracket plates have been taken out. On top, top of this bracket plate, a base plate has been welded. On top of the base plate, you will see that this eye section is running. On top of the eye section, you can see the channel section has been welded. We have already explained to you what is meant by, what is the purpose of the eye section and the channel section. The I-60 is meant to take the bending due to the vertical loads and the channel section is meant to take the bending due to the horizontal loads. On top of the channel, you will see that a rail has been fixed. The wheels of the gantry run on top of this rail. In addition to that, you can see that these two small members are connecting the channel section to the stanchion section. These tie members are purposefully added to prevent the toppling of this eye section due to the load from the gantry. So you can see this type of an arrangement which we saw, the second type of arrangement where this uh, gantry girder is kept directly on top of a part of the stanchion. You can see this actually in the photograph where you can see that one part of the stanchion continues straight up to the roof, while as this part actually goes and stops at the gantry girder. So I hope this was clear to you what is a gantry girder and how it is used and the details of how it is mounted on stanchions. If you have liked our video, please give us a like and also share with your friends. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos. Press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. If you have any queries or questions, you can write to us at architectsacademy at gmail.com. Thank you.